Hi everyone, Sue's Journal Adventures here and tonight's little project is, um, I don't actually know what it's called, um, I think on the photograph that I saw of it, it was called a mini pocket photo album, something like that. Anyway, <laughs> I don't really know what it's called and I don't haven't seen a tutorial, I haven't watched a video, so I am literally just making it from a photograph. But that's okay, because we can do that. I have examined the photograph, the photograph, photograph, I can't speak. I have examined the photograph very carefully. So I have an A4 piece of coffee dyed paper here, coffee dyed card, actually. It's only the um, 135 GSM card nothing amazing, nothing special. So just in case people want measurements, this is um, eight and a quarter by 11 and three quarters. So I'm not measuring because if it were eight by 11, sorted. I'm, I'm not into the quarters and three quarters. So I'm just gonna eyeball this and fold it upwards. And when the edges are meeting, I'm just going to press it down. Okay, that's all we're doing. And then we're going to fold this, not right up to your paper, just leave like a little gap so that it does actually fold and don't cre crease the paper underneath. So you're now left with like a big massive envelope. Okay, it's one fold up. You just want these, this bit and this, this bit to be the same. But you kind of do need a little bit of gap so that you don't get this curling back. So there we go. So we've got like a long envelope. Not so sure that's entirely straight, but I think so. Um, so, whoops. All I'm going to do now is eyeball it because it's... Because it's an awkward 11 and 3 quarters. <laughs> I'm just going to fold it like, just so I get it right, like, um, come on, come over a bit more. You're not that hard. Uh, just like that. I'm going to, until it looks like it folds up, and then I'm going to crease. I've got so many things on my desk recently. Put them back up there. Things in my way. All sorts of things in my way. Right, so this, this is actually not this, but it'll do. Anything will do. You don't need special tools. Right, so now what we've got is this. So I'm just going to fold this back and ink it so that you can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to put some ink there. I'm going to put some ink there. You don't need to do this, by the way. This is just so I can show you easily what I'm doing next. Because it's not always the easiest to see. Right, so this is our thingy, right? And where I have inked, I am going, not here. That's just gone on there by accident. Where I have inked, I am going to cut Okay, so I'm going to cut there and there and I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to ink there and there. So what you've got now whoops, is some flippy flappy bits and flippy flappy top bits so what you've essentially got is kind of like three pockets isn't it so what we're now going to do this is the bit i'm not mad keen on is <laughs> i'm going to take this bit here this first fold and i'm just gonna cut across at an angle like that. Okie doke. Save that for a template. So I'm just going to cut that one like that. The second one, 
I'm going to get my thingy my doodle if it's here my little um corner cutter i've cut different corners out of an old card so i'm just going to take this one line it up with the top and the edge and then i'm just going to snip there whoops if i can stop the handshake that is and then i'm going to turn that round line it up again with the edge and there and i'm going to snip that Okay, nearly snipped my finger then as well. Um, <laughs> that would not have been good. Um, so we've got that. Okay. Can you see that? Another flap. This one, I'm going to take it and just get the edges together, but I'm not going to fold it. I'm just going to cut it in kind of an arc shape. Arch. Okay. There we go. So you've got three different flaps. So what is going to happen next? Well, we are going to ink all this, decorate all this, and each one folds up. So this one folds up and that is your flap. Okay, like a little pocket. This one folds up and that is your flap. This one folds up and that is your flap. And then you fold that in and you fold that in and you can decorate i'm for the other side i think i'm just going to stamp it so being the super professional that i am not <laughs> that is a joke by the way um i've already got one inked so <laughs> i'm actually prepared can you believe it this one i've done a slight botch because i've cut my um angle a little bit wrong there so i've got a bit of a bald spot but it's okay i can stick some lace on there nobody would know so let's crack on with the decorations it's all inked everything is inked all I have to do now is glue. So the next thing for you would be choosing a paper that you want on the inside. Um, and then you would have to cut it to fit in your um, spots like here, 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 here. And these. Cutting that one was a bit of a, you know, it was fun, let's say. Um, yeah. <laughs> If you like, you can also cut paper to decorate the other side. I'm not cutting paper to decorate the other side. I am just simply going to stamp it all over and add some little embellishments. So for the front, for this first pocket, pocket, what am I about? Um, for this first bit, I've got my little piece cut here. Can you still see? Get you in shot. Just put my sleeves up a bit. I'm a bit warm. Um, so I'm just going to glue this. I've actually prepared for this, guys. Can you believe it? Well, I kind of had to because if I didn't, it, it would have been way too long. Cutting all the little bits out and everything. So I thought it best to... What, what are you dangling? Go away. Um, best to prepare. So there we go, that's flap number one. And then I've got this, which I've just rounded the corners and inked. So this should be all simple and straightforward, let's hope. But you know me, <laughs> even though I've prepared, cut, inked, got everything out ready, it, it could still go wrong, like it did with the last flappy thing that I did when I actually um, yeah, stuck the flap on the wrong way. <laughs> oh dear right so there we go that's background number one background number two we'll stick with number one for now so this is going to be a side pocket now on the once you've decorated your um backgrounds and if you don't fancy cutting loads of paper and inking, you can just stamp it, which is what I'm going to do with the front of it. But you can do pockets, corner tucks, belly bands, all sorts of different things. So this bit here is really my decoration. So I'm going to go on and get, I'll leave them together because you know me, I will get mixed up. Um, I'm going to go get my second bit, which is 
the bot <laughs> number one bot and i'm just gonna put this on oh what is up with the glue tonight the glue doesn't do you know i think it might be the weather i heard somebody say somewhere that they ordered some i don't know if it were this or art glitter glue but they recommend you don't order your glue in the winter because if it comes on you know, boats or wherever you're getting it from, I don't know. If the weather's cold, your glue doesn't work as well. And I'm pretty sure that's what it's going on, actually. So, oh, my hair's tickling my nose. So, I'm just going to pop this on here. Okay. And I've got a little pocket here with a notch. So I've, I've already notched everything. I've already inked everything just so it isn't as long. But I will show you me decorating the back. Yeah, it's very weird because it has been acting up lately, this glue. And it has been quite cold, so maybe it's that. I don't know. Maybe it's user error. I don't know. Right. Can you see okay? Okay, so that's on there. Um, and I might as well, should I do it all and then decorate? Not I'll decorate as I'm going along. So this lovely lady here, it was the one that I saw, it had photographs of people in it. So it was like a little mini photo album you could give somebody. So I have chose some old vintage photos um, and I'm just going to do little bits of decoration with stickers and stuff just to jazz it up a bit. Because if I left it exactly like it is, it would look a little bit boring. So I'm just going to jazz it up with these little stickers. Probably put it there. And I'm going to stick a flower. I should really stand this upside down, but then I'll have glue all over my desk. Okay, so that can just pop up there. This little butterfly just needs a little bit of glue in the middle. And that can stick on there. Um, I don't know where I got all this stuff from. The paper I just got at Scrap Creative the other day and it was just one piece. So I have no idea where the papers come from. This is just out of a 6x6 six six paper pad. That came off a printout, but I'm not right sure which one. I've got a bit of glue on there. Um, so I can't really tell you where things are from, sorry. So with this one, I've got my photos and I've got a little film reel and another photo and the film reel. Oops, I'll put that in there. And then on here, because it's supposedly photo oriented. I mean, yours doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be about photos. It can be a um, botanical one. It can be, I don't know, anything. Oops, anything you want it to be. This one says selfies here because it's supposedly a little photo album -y kind of thing. If you've got old vintage photos, then that's great. If you haven't, just do it with whatever you've got. That's fine. It could be a butterfly one. I think a butterfly one would be really nice, actually. I may make a butterfly one out of the next, um, out of that piece of card that I've just cut for demonstration purposes. So that's that. Let's move on to the second bit. So, okay, I'm feeling like, what is that? Two top, okay, it is the top, that's okay. Thought I'd done something wrong then. <laughs> that's because i'm so used to doing stuff wrong <laughs> it's trial and error isn't it? especially when you've never made something before and, and like i say i only had a photograph to work off but you should still be able to do it shouldn't you some people probably have had these cut way neater than mine are but you know i just wanted to crack on with it and i were doing this last night preparing it all before I went to bed so and I've had a couple of very very late nights thanks to my party neighbours so yeah I did just want to get to bed last night <laughs> right 
going to put that on there. So that's that one. And we'll put these on. So I've got another little pocket here. I'm just going to put a bit of glue down the edge. Oops, I did say a bit. And that's going to go there. That way. And then I've got another teeny tiny pocket. Come on, glue. Be good, be good. And that's going to go there. Now, like I say, you can do all sorts of different things in there. You can have different shaped pockets. You can actually do whatever you want. So I've got a little, like a postcard tag. I'll just pop that in there. I've got another bit of the film reel. I'll just pop in there. And then I've got these numbers, stickers. I actually cut them out of my book so as I could keep them on my desk and keep everything together. So I think that could go maybe there. So this is just really decorating um, and popping it together to show you me putting it together um, rather than you watching me cut all the pieces of paper and everything out because that would have been really boring watching me cut loads of papers and um, colour the edges. So I'm just going to stick that there. You can decorate these more or you can decorate them less. It's entirely up to you. So this one is going on the bottom. Can you still see me all right? Sorry. I drift off, you know. You know, don't you? <laughs> She's gone off screen again. <laughs> so this goes there. And actually with these, um, if you are going to cut them out, you could even notch these and put things behind them. Um, it doesn't have to be a full backing. Um, I've left space around the edge. But if you were doing it, it doesn't have to be um, just a backing. It can be another pocket if you so wish. More hidden spaces. In fact, the tops, well, no, you couldn't really fit not much in there, could you? So this is a bit of a boring belly band. It's also a bit of a wonky belly band, really. But um, it'll look pretty in a moment. When I cut that funny edge off of there. Is that long enough? Yep, I did make it a little bit longer because I knew I had to cut that fussy bit off. So I'm just going to stick a bit of... Um, what do you call it? It's not lace, but it's like lace. Just to make the belly band a bit more interesting because it was just a, a bit of this, um, one of these backing papers that I just backed onto some card. So I'll just stick that on there. I don't mind if it goes off the edge, to be honest. I'll just stick that on there. And then I've just got that to pop behind there. And then we come to the next end. Just put that over there. I don't know why I've got... Oh, do you know, if I had a brain, I'd be dangerous, honest. <laughs> oh, I'm not even going to say what I'm going to say because it's so stupid. I can't even believe it. Right. So <laughs> I'm just going to stick this down. And this is the third flap. Right, so how is this the third flap? That's not the third flap. That's my pocket, you silly girl. Do you know? Told you. Told you there'd be a faux pas. <laughs> there always is with me. <laughs> At least I didn't stick it down because, you know, that. well, that would have been really stupid, wouldn't it? This ain't cut that great, actually. I could probably have... Um... <laughs> I could have done that a lot better, but never mind. For per for just for the purposes of this video, to for you to see what I'm doing, I'm pretty sure when you take more time to make this, if you decide to make it, you will make sure that everything's neat and cut precisely. 
I'm not the world's greatest neat precise person to be honest and getting things straight and measuring is not my forte at all so so my pocket I'll have my pocket now oh you dodo so because I thought it was that I've put glue all over it but it's actually a pocket right well I just have to wait for that glue to dry off and rub it off and then I can put my pocket in what a silly Billy. I told you there'd be a mistake, didn't I? I just told you. You probably already knew. <laughs> You're like, this is Sue we're watching. Come on. <laughs> you think it's all going to go go to plan? Don't be silly. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay. So I'll just pop them there. Get this. <sighs> I did that with something else on the last time. I did an envelope. No, not an envelope. It was the one before the envelope, like just a flip out folio made with craft cards. And I was going so well until I got, there was a flip out at either end and I'd put same papers to go on either end. And for some unknown reason, instead of, I don't know, I glued it wrong. I glued it on the wrong side. And then because I'd glued it on the wrong side, that threw me. So I pulled it off and did it again and stuck it down. And it was meant to be a pocket. And I'm like, oh, dear me. That's gone terribly wrong. <laughs> That's the joy of watching my videos, though, isn't it? I guess. So this one is also... What's that? Oh, it's just card I've backed it onto. This is also a pocket minus the notch I, I didn't put a notch in this one and that's just card on the back to give it a bit of strength because it was just um six by six paper that I was using whoops so I've mirrored that we've got a sidey pocket up there and we've got a sidey pocket down here but I've chosen not to notch this one so for this one we are having Remember, remember, time's gone past and all your old photographs. There we go. So I'm just going to stick that on there. I've scrooged that glue out, haven't I? Dear me. It's a good job it just rubs off. And then I've got this thing. I'm guessing I made this. Is it a sticker? I don't think it is a sticker. I think it's just a piece of paper that I punched out. Um, just get that bit more to the edge. Can you still see me? Yeah. Okay, so that's just going to go there. And then we've got this lady. And we've got another little butterfly. Oops. Didn't really want that much, but I don't mind. So I'll put that there. And I'm going to try now and get this off so I can actually get my pocket done without things sticking in it. Where's my glue rubber? There we go. Just get this off. Oops. Try not to wreck your card, so I love this glue rubber. It's such a lifesaver. <laughs> it is for me, anyway. <laughs> there we go. You just get it all off like that. And that's it. It's done. Cool. I might as well just rub that bit off as well, aren't I? And then it's not funny. Oh, dear. It's not bumpy or anything. Thank goodness for glue rubbers, eh? Hmm. Hmm. I can tell you. Right, so this one. <laughs> Let me get that off there as well. I don't know what's going on there. Right. So I'm just going to put a bit of glue where the glue should go and not where it shouldn't go. is along there and down there and that's it 
and that is going there because it's a corner pocket. I've still used a little bit. Just get rid of all the yuck and then I think I'm just going to stick this number sticker if I can get it off there maybe. I think it wants to go there. And this, I think, do you know, I look like I'm putting a ton of glue on, but half the time it's not even coming out. There. And that is that side done. And I've just realised another mistake. I should really have stamped all this before I put all this in it because <laughs> now it's going to be bulky, but it'll be okay. We will manage somehow. We will manage. So that's it done. So what it, what it does is it flaps up, that closes, flaps up, that closes, flaps up, that closes. But this looks a little bit boring, doesn't it? So, especially where that don't match, but first of all, let me get my stamping done. So I'm just going to flip it over and I'm just going to stamp oh, like a crazy person. There's flowers there. That's not good. Why didn't you stamp it before? Why? Why didn't you? Huh? Why didn't you think, oh, you're stamping that suit. It kind of needs to be flat. <sighs> Best laid plans. Right, I'm just going to get that out because I like it. It's easy. And do I do brown or do I do black? Well, I'm just going to do brown. And I'm just going to random it. It doesn't matter where it goes because it's kind of going all over the place anyway. So I'm just going to get as much of it on as I can. I know it's a weird shape because it's like a cornery shape. But, well, that didn't go very well either. And there's not really out under there. I'm going to have fun when I get up to that flower then, aren't I? I think I'm going to have to probably just ink it in bits. I'm going to try that again. If it goes double, it goes double. Because that is absolutely rubbish. I do want you to be able to see the pattern. <laughs> you know what I mean? Even if it's not even or whatever, I still want you to be able to see it. Please come out. Well, that's a bit better. It's not brilliant, but it's better. And then I'll just get some bits going on here. I'm going to fill it all in. Oh, there's a lumpy bit there. <laughs> that's where that ribbon is. <laughs> oh, this is joy. I tell you. Poof. Next time I will remember. Like I say, this is the first one I've actually made. And I was doing it from a photo in my defence. <laughs> but that's that's no excuse, really. It's just the fact that I don't think about what I'm doing. Because if I'd have thought about what we're doing, I would have inked this first. But never mind. It'll be all right on the night. And like I say, if I've said it a million times before, if there's a little mistake or you've done something wrong, who actually knows apart from you? Because it's junk journaling, because it's supposed to be old and vintagey, parts will look worn off a little bit, like there. It could have worn away with age. And nobody actually knows what you were meaning to do anyway. Oh, that flower's on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, well. At least we can laugh, can't we? That's one thing we can do. Right, so... I'm just going to get that bit and slap it there. Like I say, it doesn't have to be uniform or anything. I'm just going round everywhere, or trying to get everywhere anyway, ish. Do the best I can. Let's put that there. This lumpy thing again. <laughs> Deary me, why do I do these things to myself? On camera. Not so bad when you do them in private. <laughs> you don't care. I always do them on camera, though. That's the problem. <laughs> I 
don't mind. To be honest, I really don't mind. It just shows, if it shows beginners that are just learning that it doesn't matter if you make a mistake, then job's done in it. Good one. They don't have to worry too much about getting everything so precise. I read people saying I've got, I've bought myself a journal and I've got loads of craft stash coming, but I don't know what to do and I don't know where to start and I'm scared and I'm like, don't be scared. Just stick paper to paper and see what happens. Your creative juices will start flat flowing. I nearly said flying then. Flowing. <laughs> And you'll just make something. And when you've made something, you'd be really proud of it. So, there we go. It ain't looking that bad, is it, really? I don't mind it. Somebody might be looking and thinking, gosh, it looks horrendous. But <laughs> I don't mind it. I think it looks okay. I like this swirly pattern, so... I'm okay with how it looks. It's fine. <clears throat> so I'm going to get all this stamped up just so it's in plain coffee dyed paper. Just get a bit there. And then I'm going to try and get some bits on the top. Possibly going to be a bit harder, isn't it, on that? Oh, should have done some there, I think. Let's try and look like I know what I'm doing anyway. <laughs> there we go. Yay! And again, we'll do the same this bit move the glue try and move the glue there's no room on my desk I work in the smallest spaces sometimes I just think how, how do you even work in that space <laughs> I don't know really I better put my mail on because you just know it's going to go light and it's going to annoy me I'm actually boiling. Do you know I had the um, heating on for about, I don't know, 40 minutes or something. I'm actually sweating. <laughs> it could be. It could be the pressure, you know. Oh, well, that was good. It could be the pressure of trying to get this thing. <laughs> it ain't. I'm not bothered. If it goes wrong, it goes wrong. But there we go. It's done. It's not quite done. So we'll turn it back over to our beautiful filled pockety side, which is looking pretty nice, I think. I'm quite happy with that. Would you like a closer look? So we have pocket kind of number one, which has got its little bits in, and that folds up and closes. Now we've got a little bit of a gap there. We will sort that in a second. And then we've got pocket number two, which has got a rounded top and it's bits and pieces. So we close that up. And then we've got pocket number three and it's bottom bit and we'll fold that up. Then we bring that over here. So that's still decorated. But I think more labels and stuff might be uh, at hand. And there we go. It doesn't fold over perfectly. I'm not really fussed. Um, at least you know it's to open. Well, it does. It opens itself. You might want to tie it with a bit of ribbon. But I think for now, I am just going to add some more bits. What's that? I don't know. Um, this is vintage lace I got the other day. I got a load of it. Loads of it. Massive, massive, massive piece. And she only charged me a pound. In scrap creative, good old scrap creative. Um, right, I want to just um, a bit of page or something. I just want to um, colour this because I don't want it white. I kind of want it brown. Yeah. 
Yeah, um, a lady sent me some die cuts. I asked for some die cut flowers on one of my weekly wishes on um, one of the Facebook groups I'm on. And a lady sent me a lot of lovely white, all white. And I thought, actually, that is a brilliant idea. Instead of me, I'd have been cutting them out of all different coloured papers for someone. But actually, if you send them white, well, then they can make them any colour they want, can't they? That was a very good idea by that lady. <laughs> so there we go. I think that's okay. That'll do. Ooh, I just thought of some that would look nice in kind of in in the leaves. I just paint with my gold paint in them leaves. I'm really addicted to that gold paint. Uh, <laughs> I am. It's, yeah, this I think I've cut a bit of a funny bit off here. There is there is flatter pieces, but I'll oh, just go with it. Go with it. I tidied my lace drawer out the other day, but to be honest, if you saw it, you wouldn't actually think I'd tidied it out. So I'm going to go with this glue that doesn't come out, and I'm just going to swirl some here. And smooth it a bit. And then I'm just going to lay this on and hope that it lays flat. Because it's a little bit, because of the way they'd wound it, they'd wound it into like a, a little ball and then tied it at the end. So it, um, it's a little bit crumpled. It's very pretty. I like that. So I might just take it straight around the back. Why not? Why not? You can do whatever you want to do. So get some glue on there. Oh, I don't know what's going on with this glue. It's not been very user friendly. <laughs> That's my excuse anyway. Oh, crikey. Would be nice if some comes out. I can see bits where it has come out, but then there's lots of bits where it hasn't. Just move that so it's sticky all over. And we'll pop that down like so. Okay, you like that. There we go. It's nice. And I'm just going to trim that off. And trim that dodgy bit off there. There we go. I might need a bit more glue under here. Yes, I do. I'll just actually put it on the lace. And then I know it's going to stick the edges. Oops. There we go. That's better. Much better. Don't need to be crinkling on me. There's always awkward bits, isn't there? <laughs> awkward bits that don't want to stick properly. There we go. I think we're all right with that side. Oh, is that the front? Oh, okay. I thought we were doing the back. No, that was the back. Was it? Whatever, it needs some more glue on here anyway. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I've lost the plot. These are stuck-ish, yeah? Yeah, that'll do. So then I've got this. Now, I wasn't right sure whether to put this on or not. I'm not right sure which is the right side, to be quite honest. Um... Is it that side? Is it that side? Or is it that side? Oh my goodness, how are you supposed to tell? Oh, I'm just going to go. I think that's the back. I think. I'm not 100% sure, but I think... My chair is awfully squeaky. I don't know if you can hear it. 
keep saying I need to put some WD-40 on it, but I haven't actually done it yet. I don't actually know where my WD-40 is, if I'm honest. Just stick some bits of glue here and there. And stick that down. Um, there. And then I think I'm going to have this which I thought was a sticker, but I think I've edged it, actually. I think I've backed it onto some paper, coffee-dyed paper. I just, I just need a bit of ink on here, because nothing much is happening. I've forgotten how I'm going to do this now, but I think I was going to put the big one just sort of under there a bit. And then that one sort of there on the lace is that lace wonky or is it just me it goes a bit thinner at the end anyway let me stick this down <laughs> okay so you can just whoopsie go under there not stick to my finger go on there under there maybe i should have moved that over slightly but I think it's okay. And then this, I'm probably going to put some glue on this. I'm saying, no, it's a sticker, but whoopsie, it's sticking onto fabric. So I will give it a bit of glue anyway, just to make sure it sticks. Can you see everything all right? Just wandered off doing my own thing. I don't even know if you can see me. There we go. And then this little twiggy, oh, little twiggy thing. You're just going to kind of stick there somehow. Or maybe under that. No, it's going to have to go there because it's quite long. Whoops. Oh, here we go. Sue and the die cuts. I love gluing die cuts. Not. <laughs> I love die cuts though. I think they're so pretty. It's a really nice thing to use and sometimes I just, I forget to use them. So I'm just going to tuck that kind of slightly under there, if I can lift it again. And just across there. And there we go. Yay! Goodness me, we've finished a product. A product? A project. <laughs> I'll just sort you out a little bit. So there we go. We're done. Now you can go on to decorate the back if you want. You could have just put a big pocket on the back. You can go to decorate these bits, which I think I will, but just with stickers. Um, and try and be as quick as I can because we're already on. Um, big time. Got glue all over me. Um, we're on big I can't get this off. I hate it when they don't want to peel. Come on, conform. I had it then and I let it go. Right, got you, got you, got you. Right, that can go there, kind of cover up that little bald spot. <laughs> oh, I could have some more die cuts, couldn't I? I might do. I might stick some more die cuts on when I've gone off camera because I don't want to make you wait watching ages. I uh, kind of want to cover that spot up there, but I think that looks a bit random, doesn't it? That's where I'll put a die cut. <laughs> oh, you can cover all sorts of things, can't you really, with other little bits? Do I want something on this side? Yes, I do. What did we say we wanted on this side? Well, because we'd made a bit of a foo far of the corner, I'm just going to put a bit of that. So, because you can see me gap. And that's not good, is it? So I'll just put a little bead of glue, if I can get any out. Oh, here it is. Hello, nice to see you. Finally. <laughs> Coming out like you're supposed to. Right, so I'm just gonna stick a piece of that across there. And then that covers my little foible. go it's just on the edge and that's fine there we go 
So there, that's pretty. Don't stick it down there. Oh, it's not exactly um, straight, is it? Wait, it looks straight on there. Looks a bit odd on there. Kind of move you down a bit. Oh, I think it's all right. It's fine. Right, so I think I might have something on here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe another thing. Whoops. What's that? I think I like the darker ones or the really lighter ones because the samey samey ones don't show up, do they? We'll just have that, eh? Because it is finishing touch. And I don't need to spend ages doing this. I don't need to spend ages doing this either. <laughs> stickers, stickers. Come on, sticker. Oh, where's my tweezers? Where's my tweezers? Easier with tweezers. Oh, it is easier with tweezers that actually hold it. Should I put it there? Should I put it down here? Should I put it there? I'm going to put it there. I don't know why. I just am. Right, there we go. We are done. And that's even wonky. Oh my days. I don't know if it is wonky or if it's just the way that swirl goes but actually I'll put a bit of glue on it because they don't feel the stickiest don't them so yeah you could do your backing and your inside with anything you could just stamp it you could do um washi tape you could cover it in washi tape if you've got some really pretty washi tapes that'd be quite nice wouldn't it so yeah you can decorate them any which way you like and that is our little um miniature photo album pocket thing with three different pockets i might ink the edges of that a little bit more um i might stick some lace on there actually because we've got a bit of a bald bit there where i didn't stamp so why not why not hey let's stick a bit of lace on there as well and that's it we've done oh my goodness yay stick that on there i always put way too much glue on just chop that and get me arm in the most awkward position to chop that there we go <laughs> there we go we're done we're done, we're done. So I'll lift you up to have a final look. Uh, my camera's going a little bit crazy, sorry. So there we go. Three individual pockets open out to reveal individual little things. Um, the middle one. And there we go. And there's the end one. And then it all just folds up and you can tie it with some ribbon there you go or you could add another kind of closure if you like so we're done thank you very much for watching again i hope you enjoyed this little project keep a look out for the next ones because there's more to come um thank you for watching thank you to my subscribers thank you to everyone who's just stopped by i hope you've enjoyed this and i will see you again soon Bye for now.